that I will talk to you a bit about the PE ratio and a pitfall that I've found out um, when using the PE ratio. But there, there are a lot of pitfalls when using PE ratio, but I will just point this particular one out to you, all right? Because this one relates to express catering and express catering operation, all right? Now, as I know, as a subscriber, if you are a subscriber of Blue Color Finance and you have been following Blue Color Finance's um, <clears throat> work, you would know that we do not emphasize the PE ratio. We do not talk too much about the PE ratio. Not that the PE ratio is not good. All right. So there are some use um, that you can get from the PE ratio, but you have to be mindful of how you use the PE ratio and you have to be um, um, knowledgeable about the company's operation in order to interpret the PE ratio. Now, as it relates to express catering, what we are finding out, we talk about some money that express catering spend um, in, in the construction work that is ongoing at the Sangsters International Airport. All right. So the company spent some 298,000 US dollars in this quarter alone. The company borrowed some $8 million. Um, a portion of that went to redeem some preference share and a portion of that went to financing the face lifting, the, the construction work that is taking place um, at the, um, the Sanctus International Airport. All right, so how does this affect the C and the PE ratio? All right, so this $298,000 that Express Catering spent on this project that is ongoing, which would normally be a capital project for most company because of the accounting principle and because of the operation of express catering, it is allowed to book that $298,000 as administrative expense, all right? So this company, Express Catering, spent money that would normally be capital budget money, all right? And it is able, it is allowed to book this as administrative expense. Now, let us talk about how this will affect the PE ratio and what if another company had done the same thing, how that would affect the PE ratio. All right, so administrative expense would have increased for ex express catering um, by 200 and $98,000. That also means that the net profit, all right, would have dipped by $298 million. Um, and let us not get too complicated and include the tax effect in, in that, all right? So net profit dipped by $298 million based on how Express Catering booked that $298,000, sorry, $298,000. All right, so let us talk about PE. How would that affect the PE? Now, if net profit um, decrease, PE is calculated as price over earnings. Now you have a smaller earnings. So what, what that would be the result, the PE ratio would increase. All right, so that $298,000 that Express Catering gets the book as administrative expense would cause its PE to increase. Let's talk about another company. And I believe that um, Express Catering is able to book this as, I mean, administrative expense because it leases the, 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 the space in which it operates. All right. So the money that it is spending on the space is not really its money. All right. So it is really adding value to a space that is not is. All right, so maybe that is the reason why the accounting um, principle allows it to book those capital budget money, what would normally be capital budget money as expenses. If another company had spent the same amount of money doing the same thing, but in this case, that company owns the, the, the space that they are operating on, are they are they are improving that would not be booked as administrative expense so that 
thousand dollars will not go in the book as administrative expense. All right, it will go. It will not affect the P and L statement, but it would affect the balance sheet. All right, and it will increase the P and um, the PP and E property plant and equipment. All right, so it will go to increase the PP and E and cash would lessen. You have to understand accounting to understand finance. And a lot of people talk a lot and do not understand finance and they are misleading you. All right, so you have to pay attention to people who understand finance and really go through the studies to understand what's really happening. So a company that would have booked that two hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars as 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 capital budget or capital project all right that company would have a higher net profit than express catering because that money would not affect the p and l statement of a company that use that that uses as capital budget all right so let us talk about the um, the PE for that company, the net profit would be high because the 298000 will not be taken from the net profit. And again, P&E is calculated as price over earnings. And because earnings is now high, price over earnings mean a lower ratio. All right, so here you have the same money spent but because of the accounting principle, they are booked differently. And this is how it will affect the company. People who use the P and um, the price to earning ratio to, to, to value company, use the price to earning ratio, a loan to value company, will get a distorted price to earning ratio. All right. And it is simply based on how the company booked that capital project um, expense. And this is why I'm telling you that you cannot use the PE alone to value company. Moreover, Blue Collar Finance does not even use PE to value company. All right, so we use PE as a backup metrics, but we never look at PE alone because it is easily distorted. All right, and a lot of people cannot interpret it. A lot of people cannot explain the P and E. What, what, what does it mean and how did they arrive at the value? If you do not understand accounting, you will not be able to understand how the P and E, what makes up the P and E. All right, so people just looking at the P and E blankly, there is a problem and will always be a problem. All right, so what we want to do now is to just get into some information, the spreadsheet that I'm working on, all right? And we'll just look at express catering as it relates to, as it is on the spreadsheet. I will try to derive some information from express catering, all right? To see if the stock is overvalued, undervalued. So express catering, if you look at the yellow, the yellow, um, column that runs the yellow row that runs across. All right, and I will widen that so you can see it. All right, so that is express catering in the yellow row, and there, there's a lot of information about express catering. All right, and we just look at those. Um, we start from the number of shares, the the stock price. We said the stock price is that. It's currently at $1.35. So you just put $1.35 there. All right. So here it is that the earnings, the trailing earnings is 0 0.095 cents. And the PE for the company is 56. All right, so it has a PE of 56. Let me put that in red now. It has a PE of 56. Let me just take that out of the color code. Let me just paint that cell in red. Red or green. All right, so that's a green cell. So that's a PE of 56, which seems very high. But as I'm telling you, that the the the, the capital project money that is being booked as 
um, administrative expense that lessens the net profit. That is why the company's PE ratio, that is one of the reasons why the company PE ratio is so high. All right, it could also mean that the company is undervalued, but we will get to that. I mean, it could also mean that the company is overvalued, but we will get to that. Look at the price to book. The price to book ratio is also high. All right, so the price to book ratio is 22, 23 X. All right, and if we scroll down to the bottom, we can compare that to compare that to the um the 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 industry that that it is in. Let me just put that in green too. So Express Catering has a price to book ratio of twenty two x, whereas the industry in which it it is placed is as a price to book ratio of just seven. All right. So, however, this is the issue. A lot of, when you look at different information from different financial institutions, you realize that they place express catering in different industry. As I said, express catering is a retail business that operates in the tourism industry. So some people place it in the tourism industry and compare it to the tourism stocks, while some people place it in the retail industry and compare it to the retail stocks. Now, which is it? All right, so that is real confusing. And that's one of the reasons why I would not use the, 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 these ratios, these relative ratios to value a company like, I mean, Express Catering, because we do not have a, 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 a similar comparison, a similar company to compare these results. So, all right, so which industry would you put express catering in? Is it a tourism industry? Is it the tourism industry or is it the retail industry? The company operates as a retailer, but it operates in the tourism sector. All right, so that can be very confusing. Now we have some information about the company going across to the right. We have the total equity of the company, the total earning of the company, and that's the trailing 12-month earning of the company, the cap, the market cap of the company. All right, so the company is currently at $8.7 billion. That seems a bit high. And the company is returning $155 million per year so far. The trailing 12 months, the company is returning $155 million, but the cap, the market cap is $8.7 billion, which seems very high. The company has a total asset of $6 billion. I mean, $6, $6 billion a year. All right. So, and that's in Jamaican dollars. So we already did the conversion for this. As a result of this, the return on equity you can see where the return on equity is which is one of the main figures that we use to value the company so we are very interested in the return on equity of any stock that that we are valuing so the return on equity is 40 percent, and this is a huge a very high return on equity so you have to be able to identify why all right so all of these figures why is the return on equity so high we have to be able to, um, to identify that. The return on asset is a meager 3%. All right? So return on equity is very high. Return on asset is 3%. Now, as I said, in our calculation, in our valuation of company, what we did, we have to come up with a, with a figure for return on equity. So we are using an average return on equity of 50% in our model. All right, so we are saying, look, and this 50% is just because what we're seeing is that the company will expand. The company is in an expansion mode. As I said, the construction that is taking place at the Norm and the Stances International Airport, the company has the company has two more extra shops to, to add to, to the, the complement. All right, and then when the shops are relocated to their normal um, high traffic area, high traffic position, then the company will see some uptick in business. All right, so we're using an average return on equity of 50%, and this will impact the price that we're gonna get for the company. However, given the market price of the company, the market cap of the company, which we said was $8.7 billion, if you should purchase that 
the, the, the company at that price, all right, you will get, a, and, and the company is returning some $155 million a year that will amount to just 2% return on your money. So is that already saying something about the price of the company? All right, so based on our valuation, what we have, we have the ULP, which we call the upper limit price. All right, so if the stock comes out to be higher than the upper limit price, we are saying the stock is overvalued. We have the LLP, which is the lower limit price. If the stock comes out to be lower than the lower limit price, then that stock is undervalued. And what we did was to convert those to a market cap. So the upper limit market value we're expecting is to be $3.2 billion. So we are saying, based on the operation of the company, based on the return that the company is giving to its shareholders, based on the earnings that the company is returning to its shareholders, that and based on the government bond um, heal that exists now, and you know that government bond is, up to, um, is, is ticking up, all right, and continues to go up, so stock price will fall, and the fear value, the intrinsic value of stock price will continue to fall as the government, uh, BOJ, continues to increase prices, um, increase yields, all right, the policy rate, and that will um, amount to higher yield on bonds. So based on what's happening now, we're saying the fear value for express catering is, the, I mean, the upper limit for express catering the price at which we know that it is overvalued is $3.2 billion. All right. And the price at which we are sure that it is undervalued, which is the which is the, the lower limit price, is $1.6 million. All right. So those are the two limits that we have. We have the upper limit, $3.2 billion, and the lower limit, $1.6 billion. All right. So let us see where Express Catering falls. And we're saying the company is currently valued at 8 point, 8 point what? What's the market cap? $8.7 billion. So it seems like the company is above that fear value, above that upper limit value. I want to freeze the panel. Freeze a column, all right? So it seems Express Catering is, is trading above that upper limit value. Let me find back the company. And we are looking at the yellow, the yellow column. I mean, the yellow row. All right, so what color will we give to Express Catering given the fact that it is trading above, above the, the upper limit price? And there you have it. The, the sheet is telling us that express catering is a sell. All right, so it is a red, you get a red color code for express catering because the stock is trading above the upper limit value. All right, and this is not financial advice, mark you. Nothing that is said on this channel is really financial advice. I just a layman, a player with figures. All right. All right, so one of the things that intrigued us was the huge return on equity. And if you look at these figures over here, and I'll just paint those, give them, uh, let's put them in green. This is the return on asset, and this is the leverage ratio. And what you find out is that the company is highly leveraged. So the company is using a small amount of equity and a huge amount of leverage, all right? And that is the reason why the return on equity is that huge because it's not a lot of equity, a lot of upfront money that is put into the business, all right? So the company is using other people's money, all right? So Express Catering get the red light and the red light is danger zone for us, all right? And that is the reason why uh, you have not seen where the price, the price has responded positively to this excellent result that the company puts out. 
All right. And, and, and what we said is that as the company enters Q2, Q2 normally is a slow period for the company. We're expecting that the price is supposed to fall off because the company is trading far above our upper limit price. So we wouldn't touch express catering with a long stick currently. All right. So people are anticipating better results in the tourism sector. And we believe that that is what is sustaining the price at these high multiples, at these high levels. All right. But as the company moves into this slower period and maybe as the recession that is on the horizon start to sh um, show effect, start to impact the, the, the demand and uh, um, in America, all right, we might see the stock price falling back off in the near to the medium term. So as I know, a blue color finance, I don't know how the thing go over. Yeah, you know, we always say, like the video, share the video and drop a comment. And what me I got to do, I'm going to finish up the Excel because we need to make a presentation on Sunday about the entire stock market. Um, I don't know more I'm doing the Excel sheet yet. It's a lot of work. And we might just pin it in the, in the description. We might just pin it in the description so you can access it. All right. So like the video, share the video. Watch the thing. And we chat to you in the next one.